evidence <coughs> we change my mind back it up my heart and yeah mm -hmm. don't just tell me show me so i guess one question i have that about that is on the internet i could find any evidence of any way you want to see it so how would you validate the evidence that i provide you pro or con i think that any like you said any data can be found out there to for either side whatever you want but how does it apply to me personally in my classroom and what we're doing you know does how does this how does that change or that mindset change affect my classroom why is it useful for me to change the way i'm doing things or how is it going to benefit my students the fle being flexible about some of those things even flexible about that maybe this grade level or this has this size and this other grade level has a different size because of what they're doing or who is in there so okay. I think being flexible absolutely I, I understand that um and i also think that getting down to the crux of the problem like if i if I'm irritated because I have 30 kids in my class and I'm feeling less effective. Well, what's my problem? And I'm afraid. And is it fear? Is it feeling lack of efficacy just about my content? Do I not have enough materials? I mean, what's the bottom line problem? What's one thing that made you like change your mind about something recently? Like. Uh, you know, one of the things that we like to do is uh, invite back uh, students uh, that have graduated uh, from our school and uh, from all levels, you know, students that are, have been very successful at a four year Ivy League school, uh, students that are successful at a, at a um, local community college. And we ask them those tough questions about what did we do well as a school family organization that prepared them for uh, college and, and after. And then what were the gaps? What are the things that they wish we would have done better? And being able to listen and, and be vulnerable enough to, to hear and, and reflect on what we hear from those students uh, has really uh, I think been a lever and a driver for us um, to rethink and retool some of the things that we assume as adults uh, that are gonna be good for kids, um, but nothing is quite like hearing it from the actual students that are living it right now. All right, cool. Change mindset is probably one of the most difficult things we do uh, in education. I can say that it takes uh, patience. Uh, it certainly takes exceptional role modeling. Um, and you need to get the right people in front of people to kind of give them thoughts and ideas about how to uh, think differently about their work um, and how, how to just lay their guard down in terms of um, how they approach their work. At what point and what triggered this idea that mindset is the thing that is going to be the, the pebble that creates the ripples in your organization? I've created some in inconsistencies in, in culture. Maybe I've asked too much, I've expected too much, um, and um, I, I guess I needed to really look at the culture. So the culture of the, of the, of the district, because I was getting some push, pushback, we were pushing so hard, but not getting the kind of results that we wanted, um, not getting the, um, the kind of excitement that we wanted. In fact, getting more negativity than excitement. And I don't want that. I mean, I, I, and I want them to feel validated and I want them to feel good about the work. And I, I want them to feel like the work that they're doing is, is important and respected and that um, we are gonna give them all the tools and the resources to be the most cutting edge. All right, awesome, awesome. Thanks, all right. Good. Where's the word? I had to say go. Woo! <laughs> Change, which begins with a habit. Oh, my oh God. wow. Oh, nice. nice. That's Don't wait for it. Get out and grab it. Oh. oh. <laughs>